So for this weekend, you're participating in the annual PBS National Memorial Day concert. Mm -hmm. What can we expect from you with that? Well, I would say it's less what you can expect from me. I'm just here getting to be a part of it because this is a very, very special event. I believe it's the 39th year of this, but um, it's also celebrating a lot of big milestones. I don't know if you know, it's the 150th anniversary of Memorial Day itself. Right. Uh, so that's fantastic. It's the 70th anniversary of uh, females serving uh, in the military when they were officially oh. They've served long before that, but when they were officially brought in, I think it's the 100th anniversary of World War One, if I'm not mistaken. So there's all kinds of things going on, and Gary Sinise and Joe Montaigne, as they do, are hosting this thing that pays honor and tribute to our service men and women, men and women but especially those that have sacrificed so much whether it's their health or their physical bodies, or in some case they've given all, they've sacrificed their lives. And for so many Memorial Day, it's that first day of summer, the pool's open, you go to the beach, and all those things are as it should be. Sure, grill some burgers and all that, but I can't think of a better way to make sure that you keep in mind why there is a Memorial Day than this event. I feel so honored that I get to be part of honoring them. Um, I will be singing, I think I'm first up, and I'm singing a... Uh, some Gave All, uh, which, of course, is just a, a fantastic song by Billy Ray Cyrus that I think is as appropriate as it can be. It, it speaks right to what we're talking about, All Gave Some, Some Gave All. And for me, it's extra special because uh, I'm an Alexandria boy. I grew up in Alexandria in Arlington. My mother lives seven miles away from the capital. Wow. I think, if, and so my whole family is going to be here. Um, I'm real excited about some of the people that I get to meet, some of the people I get to see. But mostly, uh, there's going to be a lot of great stories. Uh, it's not just a show with entertainment. Throughout, what that's just it's almost the buttons on the fabric, the real fabric. What it's about is memorializing these sacrifices. And we're going to be meeting people and servicemen and women throughout the night and having their stories told. I just think it's so perfect that it gets done. I don't think anybody does it better than this PBS show, so I'm very glad to be a part of it. Well, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it, and I, and I can't wait to see you open the show. So Let me say something else is, is that um, this doesn't mean you have to sit at home. This thing is streamed everywhere. You can find it live stream on PBS, Facebook. There's a whole bunch of places. So go online. I don't care if you're on a boat or a beach or wherever you are. You know, put this on, and, uh, and you'll be glad you did. It'll all be a little bit more meaningful. And I think the things that we sometimes take for granted are a little sweeter and a little more special when you see why we should. And this weekend, you're performing tonight, actually, on uh, the PBS National Memorial Day concert. Yes. So what does that mean to you as a daughter of two uh, yeah. military service members? Uh, well, I think as a young person and as young people, it's important for us to realize that the reason that we can pursue our dreams and go on the voice and have all these amenities is because people like my parents and soldiers and men and women across the country are sacrificing their lives so that we can do the things that we want to. And so I'm one, I'm grateful. I grew up in a military family because it, it you know, obviously I, I have a, a greater appreciation for the freedoms uh, that I have. Um, and two, I grew up singing on military bases when I basically from the start of the time that I started singing. So this is um, something cool for me to do, having, having come off of the voice and uh, just a really cool way for me to go back to my roots and to give back to, to the fallen soldiers and the ones who are still defending our freedom. And so this is, this is cool for me. And it's also a cool way for me to honor my own parents. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, it's got to be really kind of a full circle moment for you. Of course. Yeah, P I, I really was doing this um, all through my childhood, singing on military bases. Even when I had a career, we, we've done um, USO tours overseas. And so this is a part of who I am. And so I'm really grateful to have been invited. And of all things, you're going to be performing the... <laughs> The national anthem. Exactly, which is like, wow. Which is like, don't mess up the word. <laughs> Please. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, but, yeah, I'll try to get it right. And, um, yeah, it's an honor. <laughs> I, I can't wait to see you. Thanks. Um, so tonight you're going to be performing a dramatic reading of a true story from the Korean War. So t tell me about that. Yeah, it's actually a... Uh, 
a story about two guys that became longtime friends, um, Hiroshi Miramura and Joe Anello. Um, they actually served in the Korean War and became prisoners of war, but you kind of track their storylines all the way through today. And me and a fellow actor of mine, uh, we play both parts and kind of tell their story. And the story is so gripping and so touching and really kind of sets the stage and the tone for, I guess, the, the concert that's about to play out. Because I think we're about, maybe, I think we're the first ones to kind of go up. Um, but yeah, it's, it's one of those stories that just kind of touches your heart and hopefully we do it justice. Um, but you know, it's, it's about a story of friendship and you talk to all of the soldiers that you come across and, you know, everyone gives that question, like, why did you do it? Or, you know, how did you get through it? And each one of them would say, it's not for me. It was for the soldier next to me. You know, it was for all the brothers, all the sisters um, that were a part of their unit, a part of, you know, the entire military. You know, it was it was for them it was for the person right next to you. So in this story, it, it really hits on that. You know, um, they did it for each other. And what's interesting about ours is the Korean War is, is generally called the, the Forgotten War. But they have kind of set their lives into not forgetting the, the 37,000 that lost their lives in that war. So they go to numerous places and, and speak about the war and kind of give a, a history teaching about the war just to, you know, to never forget those that have fallen. And so what does Memorial Day mean for you? Wow. Um, it means, I mean, obviously there's, I feel... For me as a civilian, a sense of responsibility. Um, I feel like I'm able to talk to you. I'm able to live my life because all of the soldiers that have sacrificed theirs. Um, and I feel like a place of remembrance and of thanks um, shouldn't be just one day, but you should try to do it for many days um, and do as much as you can because I feel like no one quite understands the freedoms that they have until they're actually in that Memorial Day stage. And what's so interesting about this concert it, and it expands to all, I mean, it reaches so many people and so many audiences and you really get, get touched by all the stories, but especially about the day, you know, cause it's really about, the soldiers that are obviously serving now uh, and that have served in the past and, and the ones that kind of sacrifice their lives for the freedoms that we have today. And I feel like that aspect of it, so many of us seem to forget in our normal lives. Um, and it really is kind of this reflection and this retrospect for me to, to be able to do the things I do, to be able to take my daughter outside. I mean, if it wasn't for them, I'd never be able to do it. So it's just a, a complete honor to be a part of this concert. But for me, I'm so deeply moved and blessed and, and honored to be a part of it and so very thankful for everything they've done. Wow.